weekend. I hope you've had a great day. It's Thursday. It's almost almost the weekend i hope it's been a fabulous day for you guys you know i've been busy we are making a new dish so two nights in a row two dishes after 60 hours of fasting i feel great and excited to get in the kitchen this week hey sheila how are you as you guys come on let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight i'm curious what everybody's ideas are hey janet so we're making a cheesy smoked sausage cabbage casserole hey salima doesn't that sound amazing? It sounds fire. That's why I use my fire uh, emoji. I love new dishes. I love to try new things. I've got my oven on 400. We're going to put this together in the skillet, let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes, throw it over into our baking dish, top it with some awesome cheese, and let it bake for 10 more minutes. So this does not take very long. The hardest part about this meal is taking the time to chop up all of your goody, goody goodness. So we're fixing to go over what goes in this recipe. Right now, I've got two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of uh, avocado oil getting hot in my skillet. Sheila said we just started doing keto board with eggs. Oh, goodness, from Florida. Hi, Sheila. So, definitely steer away from eggs. Don't get so bored that you um, get tired of routine and give up. Uh, there are so many other options for keto. Hey, Janine, how are you? So, Sheila, definitely last night I made a great a lemon parmesan chicken over riced zucchini. It was so delicious. Definitely check out that recipe. That would be a good place for you to start if you're looking for something new. I also have a Pinterest page. If you'd be interested in that Pinterest page, I can show you how to find me on Pinterest where I have a keto faves board and a keto board of stuff that I haven't tried yet or is very simple. I don't need to save it as fave. <laughs> um, tonight, we're making this cheesy, smoked sausage cabbage casserole now i want to go ahead and tell you guys all in a preference this video to let you know this is not the lowest carb meal uh, this one actually has about 10 to 11 carbs per serving but this is the only carbs i've had today so it's okay to have higher carb meals as long as you are tracking and making sure that you're not going way overboard throughout your day now, you know it could be easy if you're using creamers in your coffee and things like that you're not counting those carbs and then you come home and cook and add all kinds of carbs that you don't know about so it's okay to have higher carb meals on occasion. I generally will never make a plate that has more than 10 carbs per serving, but tonight I am. This is around 10 carbs with the recipe that I'm using. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Janine is doing Greek salad with, uh, uh, I, always say, I always forget how to say them, those noodles. Y'all know what I'm, no, y'all know what she's talking about. <laughs> uh, and Greek pitas for my husband. That sounds so good. Making a French onion soup on the bread, yum. Oh, the riced zucchini was so good. I did not use a processor because I like to keep things super simple. So what I did, I think it's dirty still. Y'all gonna see, we're doing a lot of work around the house and my husband did not clean after me last night and I didn't have time to clean either. So I took my zucchini and a cheese grater. So you take your zucchini, shred it with your cheese grater. It makes riced zucchini so super easy. I like to put mine in butter and cook it up for a few minutes, add salt, pepper, you can do garlic powder, you can do Italian, any kind of seasonings you like. I like to splash a little heavy cream in there after they get a little soft to thicken them up. And you can do any kind of Parmesan cheese or mozzarella cheese, it's so good, okay? So I love doing riced zucchini. Uh, a lot of times I'll make my own noodles, which are delicious, they're thicker, uh, but that's just super simple. So I like to do things easy and fast with easy cleanup, even though I didn't clean it up. <laughs> hey Wendy, how are you? Oh, yes. Wanda says she loves cabbage. Now, I love cabbage, too, but, guys, we have to keep in mind, this is not as low-carb as asparagus. It's not as low-carb as spinach, uh, but it is an okay pick for keto. Uh, I do have to watch my portion sizes because I love cabbage, too, and I can easily overdo it. So, just make sure you're adding up your carbs, and you're all good. Then you said, finally bought the same little counter oven like yours. I love it, too, girlfriend. I love the Cuisinart TOA60. She's talking about my air fryer. Uh, all right, so I've got two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of avocado oil. You can use uh, uh, olive oil or any kind of oil you want. We're fixing to go ahead and add in our first ingredient. So I've got a, I actually have like a small to medium sized head of cabbage. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and put this in our skillet. And I'm gonna turn this on about medium heat to get it going good. Just gonna dump it all in here. Now you need a pretty big skillet if you're gonna cook this like I'm doing it. I like to cut my cabbage really thin so it cooks fast. Uh, the thicker chunks you have, the longer it takes to cook, and who has time for long? Not me. I have my oven on 400, guys. So I've got about a small to medium-sized head of cabbage. 
I'm gonna put about a cup of diced onion. I'm just using a white onion. And I've got one yellow bell pepper. Let me see, if, I don't even know if y'all can see my skillet. It's looking pretty. I love colored food. So again, cabbage, a yellow bell pepper, and um, a diced onion, about a cup of diced onion. And I don't know if you can hear it sizzling because I talk so loud. Someone told me I had a loud mouth. <laughs> okay, so you hear it sizzling. We're gonna go ahead and cook this for a couple of minutes. Let me get me a spoon. And of course with cabbage, I like to fry cabbage. So I don't like a lot of water, I don't like it boiled. Uh, but I love fried cabbage and this is basically essentially fried cabbage. We're just adding some ingredients in. I definitely wanna cook this up high enough to where it gets started simmering or cooking and then we'll turn it down a second. So these are the first ingredients and we wanna cook this for about 10 minutes until it starts to get soft and wilt. Hey Cheryl, how are you? All right guys, what are you doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly, always interested? Hey Patsy, I see some more friends jumping on. Let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner. So we're making a cheesy smoked sausage cabbage casserole. Sounds so good. <laughs> I love anything new and I have not made this one before. So if you're new to my page, I'll always post my recipes after I'm done cooking if it's something new. And I always take a picture of my plate with the recipe in case I wanna offer suggestions. Like last night, I used the recipe for the first time and I did have a suggestion of a change. So that's how I run this page. Um, if you need a specific recipe, you can send me a message and I can follow up with you to give it to you if you can't find it. But I always post after my dinner's cooked and plated and tasted. All right. Um, Sheila says, just saw somebody took the cabbage and some butter, put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. That sounds good too. That'd be a lot faster. <laughs> It'd be a lot faster than frying it up. But I want to make sure all these seasonings come together. I want the onion and the pepper, yum, to taste just, to, to get that taste in the cabbage. You probably can do all of those in the microwave like you just said. <laughs> all right. So I got these mixed up pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my garlic. See, I know I love garlic. You wanna add about four cloves of garlic to this size of cabbage. I'm just gonna throw it in there because the more the merrier. I'll mix that up. Always need salt and pepper in your cabbage. So I'm using Redmond's Real Salt. It's a really good pink Himalayan salt. I'll show you guys the bag in just a second if you're interested. I love this salt. Tastes so good. It's mined here in the U.S. You're buying it locally in the United States. And it has all the minerals we need for keto. We want to make sure that we are filling our bodies with a good electrolytes. So you can buy an electrolyte supplement or you can use a really good pink Himalayan salt. But you definitely want to do that. Especially if you're new to keto, Sheila, because you can easily experience the keto flu unless you're protecting yourself from it with lots of hydration and a good mineral replacement. All right, so we just put salt and pepper and garlic. You can use garlic powder if you want to. You can also use onion powder if you don't like onion, but you definitely want that flavor. It looks good already. All right, and while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing up my sausage to see if you guys have any questions from Florida, Esperanza. Esperanza, beautiful name. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, from Florida, she already ate dinner, had grilled tilapia with roasted turnips and broccoli. That sounds really good. <laughs> I have not ever cooked turnips, but that sounds amazing. Joan says she fixed ranch chops mm, with broccoli. They were delicious. I love those ranch chops. Hey, Polly, how are you? Ooh, Wendy's doing tomato soup and grilled cheese. I'm jealous. Uh, I've just been, I fasted for the first two days of the week. So now I'm like all excited about everything that's possible. <laughs> so I can't wait to eat some of the simple things. And I want to try some new dishes this week. So guys, if you didn't see the lemon parmesan uh, chicken last night, it was really good. It was very good. We definitely will be cooking it again at my house. Uh, I made some suggestions on the recipe that I will do a little differently if you saw that on my page last night. So I'm just stirring this up so it doesn't uh, stick. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to put a top on it. I put a top on it and they cook a little faster. I've got my oven on 400. And guys, as you're jumping on, let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight. But also, I want to know if you have any questions. Any questions related to getting started with keto? And if anyone needs information on getting started with keto, put getting started in the comments. And I will send you some simple information on how easy it is to get started keto and be very successful. I always recommend simple keto so that it keeps your life simple. And it's something you can maintain uh, I've been keto for three years now. I'm in my fourth year of keto, and I absolutely love it. 
My family loves it because they love that I cook. <laughs> Before keto, you know, we just did our own thing. I'd cook some nights. Some nights we'd get takeout. Um, a lot of nights we'd eat frozen pizza. And then I did the low car. I mean, the low calorie diet where I had all the fat-free salad dressings. We ate salads all the time. With keto, everything tastes delicious. And I love to cook. And since I've become keto, everything tastes so good and I only do easy meals. So my family absolutely loves keto. Not only because I cook most every single night, but they love the food. It just tastes delicious. So let me know what questions you have. And I also want to tell you guys one mistake I made as a new ketoer. <laughs> when I was brand new to keto, I told my husband, Ricky, I'm going to do another diet. <laughs> and he said, another diet? You don't need to lose no weight. You're beautiful. And I said, I know what you say. And I know you love me, but I want to feel good about myself. I need to lose 50 pounds. Uh, I'm going to do another diet. It's called keto. And he's like, I've never heard of it. And I was like, well, I've been investigating. I'm going to start reading. And when I first started, this is the mistake I made I want to tell you guys about. I don't know about your family, but this is my family's mentality. If I'm on a diet, that means they're on a diet. I don't want them to feel like they're on a diet. <laughs> so one mistake I made is I was researching all about it. And when I got ready to start, I would cook my husband and my kids their normal meat, potatoes, macaroni, and I had me a little side dish that was keto. And it tasted so good. And every night I would come to their, their place at the table and I'd say, oh, taste this, it's so good, it's keto. And sometimes they would taste it and sometimes they'd, know, they'd say no thank you because they thought it was a diet food. And I cooked two meals almost every single night for about four months. Now, granted my meals were very small, like one dish meals, where it didn't take me a lot of time at all. I cooked for them normally. And now I cook my little side dish. Now the mistake I made, I'm trying to get to it. <laughs> Gotta give you a little back history here. The mistake I made was going to my family and saying, oh, you gotta taste this, it tastes so good, it's keto. And they thought that I was feeding them diet food. So when I got tired of cooking two meals, and guys, if you're doing this, you're gonna get super tired very fast. When I got tired of it, I was like, look, I'm cooking. If you guys are gonna eat what I cook, then you're gonna, cook, you're gonna eat what I eat. And I got to, needed to get them out of that mentality of being on a diet. Because the, the, the error I made is every night I'd say, oh, you got to try this. It's keto. And I told them that I was going on a diet. <laughs> this is what I recommend to you guys. Cook, feed your family. Keto is absolutely delicious. It's a way of eating. It's not necessarily a diet. Now, you can use it as a diet, but it is a way of eating. And the way you eat habitually is called your diet. So if you eat keto, then you're keto. If you eat low fat, then you're low fat. If you eat baked potatoes three times a week, you're on a baked potato diet. If you eat turnip greens four days a week, then you're on a turnip green diet. It's just your habitual way of eating. And keto is a way of eating and it's delicious. So my error was always saying, oh, I feel so good. I'm on this good diet. It's keto. Try this. It's keto. It tastes so good. And my family was like, well, I'm not on a diet. I don't need to eat keto. I don't need to eat your keto food. And then when I got tired and said, okay guys, I'm cooking one meal. You're either going to eat it or you ain't eating it. They fell in love. They're like, this is keto. This is diet. And I'm like, it's not, it's not a diet. <laughs> it's just the way I cook and it's delicious, right? <laughs> so my advice, I know I'm rambling, but my advice is when you get started, don't tell your family that you're feeding them a diet food. Just tell them that you're cooking. Uh, tonight I'm cooking cheesy, <laughs> smoked sausage, cabbage casserole. I don't have to say I'm cooking a keto smoked sausage cheesy casserole. I can just say I'm cooking it. And that is what we're doing. We're just cooking it. So that's my advice to you tonight. Let me know if you have any questions as I'm cutting up my sausage. I'm fixing to come check out the comments. I'm curious where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly. And I hope I guys, I hope you guys are getting some, some kind of help from me. If you are, please share my videos. I really love to help people. Um, I've gotten some amazing messages today from people who are just getting started. Um, people in their, their older ages who feel like, you know, they have a disadvantage. Not true. My aunt is 70 and I posted pictures of her this week and her progress. You don't have a disadvantage just on your age. Um, but it feels so good that I've had people send me messages from that post saying, you know what? You're right. I'm not only 64, I'm diabetic, and I also have this and that. And you know what? I might not be able to run it every day, but I have lost weight, and I feel great. And that just makes me so happy that people are being encouraged uh, by this page. So please, please go ahead and share these videos if I'm any help to you. Sherry says she's doing that. She cooks two meals. Oh, Sherry, you, you go as long as it's good for you, but eventually you're going to get so tired of it, and you're either going to stop cooking for yourself and not 
eat the way you know that you feel good or you're gonna have to make them eat with you. <laughs> and if you feed them good food and don't say it's keto, just cook, I promise you they're gonna love it. My family loves it. The only thing my husband does not like and he's very vocal about and it's fine, he doesn't have to love everything, but he does not like cauliflower. He does not like cauliflower. So when I make casseroles with cauliflower, I have to be very sparingly with it or I have to cook it for me so I can eat it for dinner and throughout my lunch week. Uh, and then cook him something else that night because he just does not love cauliflower rice. Now, he'll eat it. If I tell him I'm cooking it, he's going to eat it. But I just do that to be nice <laughs> because he honestly doesn't like it. It's not that he doesn't prefer it. He just doesn't like it. So, I'm, I'm nice sometimes. <laughs> but I love my husband. He's good to me, so I'm always good to him. All right, fix it. Come over see if you guys have any questions. I know I'm rambling and talking, but I hope you guys are getting something out of it. We are just slicing up our smoked sausage at this point. I bought some Hillshire smoked sausage. And you want to use a whole 14 ounce uh, bag or 14 ounce pack of the uh, sausage with that medium head of cabbage. And now the cabbage is smelling good already. All right, and we almost have all of our ingredients in. I'm fixing to add this and one other thing. I'm gonna go ahead and actually add some of this sausage so it can start to cook. It says not to add the sausage until a little later, but I want my sausage really cooked good. So I'm adding it in. Ooh, y'all, the garlic and the pepper smell so good. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I'm almost done with this. I'm going to slice it and throw it in there, and I'm coming to your questions. So I'm just slicing these and then cutting them in half sizes or half moons. Uh, you can do them smaller if you want to, but this is the meat in my casserole, so I don't want to make it a little tiny. Let me stir this and I'm coming to you guys. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I'm fixed to come read. So I can't okay, see it. I'm sorry. It looks really good. It smells delicious on this side. This is my first time cooking this recipe. Again, I will let you know if it's any good. I hate for you to waste your time if it's not any good. So anytime I cook something new, I'll always let you know my suggestions for changes in the recipe or whether or not it's just not good. I have cooked things before that I'm like, no guys, <laughs> don't cook this. <laughs> so I'm always going to be honest with you. All right, let me cover that back up. It's looking really good. Let's see if you guys have any questions. All right. Uh, Jenny says she loves me. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, that's very sweet. I appreciate it. I love to be encouraged too. Because not always am I encouraged. <laughs> Sheila says, do you exercise with keto? Uh, Sheila, honestly, I used to in my past life loved to exercise. Like it just makes me feel good. It gives me so many positive feelings about myself when I finish exercising. But these days, <laughs> over the last, I'd say, five, six years, I have gotten so busy in my job. My family and I run an occupational health clinic. So we have 23 employees, we have over 200 clients and we stay so busy that I just don't make the extra time to exercise. I think success comes 90% in the kitchen, 10% in the gym or 10% outside in the yard, 10% on your living room floor. I think it's great to exercise. So if you can, walking is wonderful and it's not hard and anybody can do it. This summer, I plan to do a lot of exercise in my new pool that we just put in. This is my advice. If you can move your body, the better off you're going to be. Not only for your body, but for your mental state and just success and health change. So if you can move, move. I don't care what it is. I like to walk. So I try to get in anywhere from six to 10,000 steps a day, but sometimes I'm tied to my desk or tied to my car with customers. Um, so used to, even if it was 10 o'clock at night, if that's when I could go, I go, but I didn't cook. <laughs> And now I'm cooking every night. I'm sharing with my friends, um, helping other people. So I take that time away from my exercise. So that's my story, Sheila. Uh, hey, Janice, another friend from Florida. I hope you guys are having great weather. It is cold here. Uh, we had some beautiful days of sunshine and warm. Uh, the warm sun was great. And then all of a sudden, it feels like it's turning back to winter. <laughs> I think the high today was 55 and the wind chill was so cold. I thought I was going to die. So I've got sweaters on again. Um... 
All right, guys, any other questions, go ahead and put them in the comments while we are cooking up our cabbage. I'm fixing to go over what I've done so far in this cabbage recipe. Um, look and see if there's any other questions. Any good breakfast recipes? Oh, Sheila, I have a really good sausage uh, ball recipe that I love. Uh, I love sausage balls, and this one is so easy to put together. Most all the recipes I share have six ingredients or less, so I will definitely share the sausage ball recipe. I also like to make like egg muffins. Uh, you can do a million different things with egg muffins, um, but you said you're tired of eggs. <laughs> so the sausage balls would be really, really good. Uh, honestly, I don't eat a lot of breakfast. And the reason I don't is I just wake up and hit the office. And as soon as I get to work, I drink one of my drinks called Keto Nat. And it gives me so much appetite and, and focus and energy for the day that I just I don't, I skip breakfast most every single day. The only time I really have breakfast is if it's on the weekend and I'm cooking for my family, uh, which is still really rare because my kids are grown up and they don't, they don't wake up early like they used to. <laughs> uh, so I rarely have breakfast. Honestly, I just don't. Uh, my mentality is uh, I eat when I'm hungry, and if I'm hungry, I'm eating, and if I'm not, I keep on working. Uh, so that's how I go about my day. I do a lot of intermittent fasting, uh, which is honestly a very simple thing. It's setting a, an eating window and sticking to the window. So my window on most days is 1 to 7 or 12 to 8, uh, but I would only eat in that window of time. Uh, that's intermittent fasting in a nutshell, and mine usually starts after 12, uh, and then I come home and make a good dinner. So I eat dinner every single night. Uh, just starting to eat low carb due to doctor requests. Wow, so I'm enjoying some of your recipes. Thank you. I appreciate that, Myra. I hope you have an awesome evening. And guys, if I can help you anyway, please send me messages. Uh, I don't mind answering questions in the videos. That's why I do the videos, so we can make sure that we're helping lots of people. But I also can answer any questions you have personally, so send those to me. If I can't help you, I've got friends who have been doing keto for seven years. Uh, I'm in my fourth year now, and I absolutely love it. Uh, if I have been any help to you guys, though, I'm asking you, please share this video. Share my video so we can reach more people and show them how easy it is to change their lifestyle around to be the best person they can be. I'm not talking about necessarily a size four. I mean, I can get to a size four if I work hard at it, but what I am talking about the success with energy, being able to play with our kids and our grandkids, being able to walk to the mailbox without shortness of breath. That's what I'm talking about, success. <laughs> yes, everybody wants to be smaller, and you will be smaller if you stick to keto, uh, but I want everybody to be successful and help as many people as I can. So if I've helped you in any way, please, please share my videos. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. Um, keto Nat Supplement. Yes, ma'am. I will send you some information, Sheila, if you're interested. I absolutely love them. Um, I'll actually just go ahead and send you my getting started information. Uh, since you're new to keto, you may not even be doing it the way I do it, uh, which is not the end of the world. Everybody has their own ways, but I'm going to send you uh, just a getting started um, information that will also include the Keto Nat. If anyone wants getting started information, just put getting started in the comments and I will send those to you. So let's talk about this recipe really fast because we're fixing to put it into our uh, bacon dish. So we're making a cheesy smoked sausage cabbage casserole. It sounds like it's a lot, but it sounds so good. <laughs> I love anything cheesy. I love cabbage. I love uh, smoked sausage. Chrissy says she's been doing low carb since January. She's lost 27 pounds. Way to go, girlfriend. And come off three medicines. Oh my gosh which was for type 2 diabetes. Congratulations, everybody. Punch that heart button for Christy. Congratulations, Christy. I'm so happy for you. Uh, that is Christy Tollinger. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. And thank you for sharing because that is just encouraging other people. Uh, so that is wonderful. Now, keep in mind, guys, we're all different. So Christy has lost 27 pounds since January. You may lose 30 pounds. You may lose 10 pounds. No big deal. Just keep going. You're going to feel amazing, even if you don't lose 27 pounds in just a few months. But most people do lose quite freak, I mean, quite a bit up front as long as you are committed to making this change. And if you'll commit yourself for four weeks, four weeks, just commit yourself four weeks. After those four weeks, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm sleeping so good. Why well, don't I want a baked potato? Because <laughs> as soon as you eat it, you're not going to sleep good again. Um, all right, let's see. Yes, yeah, Sheila's been flying by the seat of her pants. That's how most people are when they get started. Uh, I see that. Uh, is that Tanya Taja? I'm curious how you say that name. That's pretty the way it's spelled. Uh, I see you, Bonnie. I'll send you as well. Hey, Louise. Christy, I am so proud of you. So happy for you. Thank you for following my page. I really appreciate you always giving positive feedback and uh, making good comments. So thank you. Uh, guys, share this page if I've been any help to you. So let's talk about this recipe really quick. 
so we can get it in the oven. My oven is on 400. And guys, this looks so good. It smells so good, but we're not done yet. We got just a couple more ingredients to put in here. I also am going to add some more salt because uh, I like a lot of salt in my cabbage. With the Redmond's Real Salt or any kind of really good pink Himalayan salt, Himalayan, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> with any good pink Himalayan salt, it takes a lot of that salt to actually have the taste, which is great because we need those minerals, right? So I'm putting some more salt and pepper. Uh, I'm going to put some more garlic powder too. I put some minced garlic in there, but I love garlic. Now you don't have to do this. This is just me. This is me in my house. <laughs> I'm going to give you this recipe in just a little bit. So right now we've got two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of avocado oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. I suggest avocado or olive to be the best, healthiest, low, uh, or not low, not low calorie, but uh, the best, healthiest, high fat is avocado oil or olive oil when you use oils. So we've got two tablespoons of butter and oil in my skillet. We added um, about a small to medium size, really thinly sliced cabbage, one yellow bell pepper, about a cup of diced uh, onion, and then we did four cloves of garlic. I did a little more. <laughs> you can use garlic powder if you don't have minced garlic. And we were just cooking this over here. I did go ahead and add my sausage, about 14 ounces of um, smoked sausage from Hillshire Farm. Now, I did cook this, the, the cabbage and the onions for a few minutes before I added the, cap, the sausage. I just added the sausage just a few minutes ago. Uh, the recipe actually says not to add it till the end, but I want mine really good and browned. <laughs> so I'm doing mine a little different. All right, let's go ahead and add the next steps. So we have got one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. We're gonna to throw it in there. Um, hey, Alice, I see Patsy jumped on, Allison. It's Tanya. Okay, thank you, Tanya, for, for correcting me. Hey, Janet, I appreciate that because I really like to know how to say people's names. I don't want to ever offend anybody, so I appreciate that. So my middle name, just so you know, is Lachey. And it's spelled L-A, look, oh my gosh, Lashay, L-A-S-H-A-Y. And my husband calls me Shay. <laughs> so we all have some uh, names that are not always uh, familiar. All right. So we're also going to add a cup and a half of crushed tomatoes. So I had one dice can of tomatoes, and I'm going to do a cup and a half of crushed tomatoes. Did I just mix that up? One can of diced tomatoes. <laughs> And I'm going to do a cup and a half of crushed tomatoes. Let's wrap it on my measuring cup. I did not clean last night, and I should have. So we're going to use this one. It's a big one. Cup and a half. I don't know if this whole thing's a cup and a half. I don't think so. Cup and a half. Mm, it looks good, but I think I got all juice. <laughs> Let me use a spoon. Yeah, it feels like I got all juice. I don't know about that. I'm putting that back. I'm going to stir that up make sure I get some tomatoes in there. Look, I'm making a mess. No, I'm not doing that. You live and you learn. I've never had to pour crushed tomatoes out of this thing before. And I'm making a mess. All right, cup and a half. Throwing it in. So we got that. We're gonna stir it up good. Y'all, that smells so good, y'all. Mm. Sorry guys, that was my son, so I had to answer. All right, so we just mixed in our uh, diced tomatoes and crushed tomatoes. It looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my baking dish. So you definitely want a big baking dish. I'm using a 9 by 13 because this is a lot of cabbage. Oh, I'm going to pour it in there without making a mess, hopefully. Ooh, yes. That looks good. Now, y'all see that? That looks good, don't it? <laughs> I love colored foods. I think it's so pretty. I love to present foods with lots of color. So I love this yellow bell pepper and the diced, diced tomatoes. So I'm just going to move this around and I'm fixing to top it off with our cheese. Now I'm using a mozzarella cheese because I love mozzarella cheese and that is what the recipe calls for. And since this is my first time cooking it, I want to stay pretty true to the recipe. <laughs> 
So let me get my shoes. If you have any questions, any more questions, put them, put them in. I'm almost done. So the recipe calls for a cup and a half of mozzarella. I'm just going to put some on top. You can measure if you need to. Now, uh, as far as cheese goes, this is the Lazy Girl cheese option. This is what I like because most days I'm going to be hurrying. But to make your meals taste a lot better, shredding your own cheese is a million times better. You can take a block of cheese and shred it yourself, and it doesn't have the caking uh, ingredients to keep this from sticking together in the bag. It really does taste different. I just don't care to do that tonight because I'm in a hurry. And I want to talk to you guys and make sure I answer your questions. All right. I'm just going to come over and see if you guys have any more questions, if you'll put them in the comments. This looks so yummy. All right. It's going in the oven. I'll be right back. So the great thing about putting this in the oven is that it's already cooked. Everything is cooked. So we're going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes just to really melt the cheese, and it's all ready to go. All right, let me see if there's any other questions. Alice said, did you cook your sausage first? No, I just sliced it up and stick it in there. Um, best non-stick pans. Uh, let me show you this one that my daughter bought me. You can't read the bottom of it. All right, so my daughter bought these for me for a Mother's Day present. You can barely read it. Let me turn around this way, actually. All right, so you can barely read it, but it's C-I-R-C-U-L-O-N. Circulon, I guess it's called. I'm telling you guys, this is an awesome cookware set. If you are looking for cookware, she surprised me with this. I think she bought it from Macy's at the time, but it's been numerous years ago. But guys, this cookware set she bought me is awesome. I used it lots of years ago when I was doing low fat because you don't have to put butter, oil, or anything. You can put a frozen piece of chicken in this and start cooking it, and you don't, that's it. It'll just start cooking, and it won't stick. <laughs> so I love this. Uh, nowadays, I use butter and I use oil to get those healthy high fats, uh, but I do love this. Now, I also have an old tea fowl set. I mean, old tea fowl set. Actually, I actually think I used it last night, so uh, it's dirty, but you can actually take the handle off and take it straight from the stove into the oven, so I love that too, uh, but I really love this circulon. So, I hope I answered your question. Let's see. <laughs> Any other questions? Let's see. I'm almost done with this video, so I want to make sure you don't have any questions before I jump off. Like I said, I always uh, take pictures of the plated food after I've tasted it. So as good as that looked, I might not like it. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever cooked it. So I will always be honest with you and tell you if there's something I don't like or something I love that we will definitely be cooking again. Look guys, I just realized I got my nails done today. My, my nail artist is so cool. Um, I can't keep my hands still enough. They're little flowers, aren't they cute? <laughs> All right, Oop. let's see. Um, Janice is in Georgia right now. She's freezing. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I've got some friends that live in Atlanta, and my cousin lives in Atlanta, so we love to visit Georgia. Uh, just tuned in. Looking forward to the recipe. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pat. I'll share it in just a little while. This is going to cook for about 20 minutes in the oven until the cheese gets really good and, and uh, melted. Brittany says, yes, she's looking for a new bacon pans. I don't do a whole lot of bacon, Brittany, so I'm not the expert on that. Uh, Allison says, Pampered Chef, they do not have, they do not have the bolts on the inside, so you can easily clean it. Ooh, I love that. Oh, that's a good idea, Allison. So, guys, check in with Allison there. Sheila said, peppers are a little overwhelming to her, so Sheila, you could actually just take half this pepper, uh, use half of it for this and half of it for another recipe. I actually am cooking tomorrow a fajita chicken bake, so I've got more peppers I'm going to use tomorrow. <laughs> uh... Jody says, you have problems with cholesterol. Absolutely not, Jody. I check mine um, about every six months. For the past three years I've been keto, they're good. Uh, my aunt, who is 70, her doctor told her she is in the best health as far as all of her lab works uh, that she's ever been since he's been her doctor, and that's been 20 years. So everybody experiences the change a little different. When I very first started, I did see my numbers fluctuate, and I was kind of like, 
Hmm. So I started investigating and there are lots of myths about cholesterol. Uh, when you're looking at cholesterol as far as heart disease, there are many markers to heart disease, not just cholesterol. And it's not total cholesterol they're looking for. And my numbers were increasing by total cholesterol. So anyway, there's lots of information on cholesterol. If you have a question, let me know. I'll send you some videos uh, or you can just search it yourself. Um, but there's lots of information on cholesterol that people should be aware of and not scared of. Uh, Sheila said that's kind of what I was going to come into. That's kind of what I was going to come all the high. I'm sorry, hang on. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're saying, Sheila. I'm probably reading it backwards. Oh, autocorrect. <laughs> All right, this is a live video, but Facebook shows a live, like, it might be like a couple of seconds delay, so you may be trying to correct that. I don't even see it yet. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome night. If I can help you in any way, please send me a message. Anyone who wants getting started information, just put getting started in the comments, and I'll send you some great info that's super simple that everyone can be successful at. And if I can help you in any way, just let me know. Share this video if I've helped you at all. See you later. Bye.